to work about, right? So, uh, previously, we have already learned about Hopfield Network. And I want uh, some of your response lah. Okay. So, if you remember, how many steps? My first question is, how many? Okay, good. In Hopfield Network. Okay, so you have three steps. Step number one. Step number one, what? Storage. Storage. Good. Storage. Good. Storage. Calculate weight. The weight. Where would we found our weight? How do, how would we calculate the weight? The yes, the formula. So the formula of the weight is... Okay, number of states, YM, transpose of YM, okay, and then, number of states, identity matrix, good, right, so this is the stable state, right, to be memorized. This is the transpose stable state. So this is the number of states, right? And this is the identity matrix okay good so let's try example our example our previous example we have two states right one 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 and negative one negative one negative one so both the notation are y1 and y2 right so w is calculated as Y1, right? Times Y1 transpose, good. Y1 transpose plus, okay, because we have a summation here, right? Negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Sorry, sometimes it's a bit lagging. Alright, so Y2 times y2 transpose right minus okay I, I i put this down here right so you have you have how many states all right two states right so this is two times the identity matrix which is 3 by 3 can okay so what why 3 by 3 okay because you have three elements or three vectors or three neurons uh, for each state right so three vector so that's how you get the identity matrix, right? So let's calculate. So weight is calculated as so the first part here. I'll color this using a blue color, right? Here. So so this part is actually. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 111, right? Plus 111. Okay. Alright. And then, so this is... This is the same as this one. Right? And then you minus... Minus 
2 times identity matrix, this one. So it will become something like this, 2, 2, 2. Alright. So the answer would be um, 0, 0, 0. So it will look like this. Right. So this is the final width. of our our field network right so we have already finished step number one which is storage okay so step number two several online pull up step number two testing so what happened is that testing okay Testing, compare. Okay, the input and output kan. Okay, the uh, hot field network should be able to memorize the stable state, right? So macam mana kita nak tahu network ni able to memorize the stable state? So let's say this is our hot field network. Okay. So whatever the input given, kan? Input 1, input 2 and input 3 must produce not 1 out Two out three, so the input must be equal of the output. All right. For example, if we were to present the network with a stable state y one, the output will be the same. Okay. Sini x lah, x one. Okay. And you have to test for both. Alright. Test for all um, stable state. Alright. So if you, in our case, <coughs> we have two stable state. <coughs> so we have to test both. Right. So let's do one. So in order to produce the output, okay, this one. So let's say the output is x. So how do you produce x? What's the equation? Sine. Weight multiply with input minus threshold, right? <coughs> okay, but I would. Our bias is <coughs> zero bias. So a zero bias multiply with the threshold, we get a zero threshold lah. So automatically, uh, we would cancel this part. So okay, but it ada. So now we have a simplified equation, which is oops, sign with times uh, input. Right, so ni bukan identity matrix lah, ni input lah. Okay. Alright, so let's, uh, I change lah. I don't want you to get confused. So, I put Y here. Okay. Right, so what is Y? So, Y is the stable state lah. Okay. So, now, let's try out one stable state. Equal to sign of um, this is the weight, right? Times one one one. So you get sign. Okay, because these two value multiply with these two ones, right? Okay, sama juga macam yang ini. All is multiplied by 1, so you get 
four four four. Right. So apply it to assign function to get all one one one. Okay. Okay. Agreed. All right. So how about the next one, which is for a uh, stable state negative one? All right. So let's try it out. So let's say x is the output. So sign again the width value zero zero zero. Okay. Times negative one, negative one, negative one. So you'll get sign all negative, right? Negative four, negative four, negative four. Am I right? So you get all negative. Okay, that. Alright, so no no dispute, right? Okay, so that's it for step number two. So step number two is done. Step two, done. Okay, how about step number three? What happened in step number three? Retrieval. Alright, so what happened in retrieval? Yes, use use unstable states to to find the stable state, right? Yes. Yep. All right. So an example of a uh, unstable state or proof is uh, any states that is other than the stable state. So let's see this is a stable state. Okay, so other than this would be uh, one vector change to a uh, minus, right? So this one. So this is one example of unstable state. So we try out to produce the output to the network. Kan? So masukkan dalam network and we want to find out whether it can, it can reach the stable state, right? So let's try it out. So x equals to sine zero zero zero. Am I going too fast? Alright, so negative one, two, two, eh, sorry, two, two, that time. This one is one, one. Okay, so we'll get for this one, we'll get a positive, right? A 4. Okay. And for this one, we'll get negative 2 minus 2, right? To that. This one multiplied with this one, ne a negative 2. And this one is multiplied with this one, we'll get. Two. So this is this should be zero, right? Same with this one. Am I right? Okay, because because the sine function for hash n, okay, states that if the output is zero, it would refer back to the original input. Can okay? the original input the one one. So negative one would be uh, 4 ni would be a positive value. So, the answer would be 1. Okay, because of positive value. And this this is not because of uh, 1. Because the previous value is 1. Right? So, this is the answer. Okay, however. For this uh, output. Alright. It doesn't match the input, right? The input is negative 1, 1, 1. Right, so it's, it doesn't match. So what happened? The output become the next input. Okay, so it iterates lah. 
So the network I trace kan ni dia pergi kat sini ni dia pergi kat sini we call it feedback loop alright so you boleh lukis macam ni ataupun you boleh lukis macam ni ok ni it goes here this one it goes here and this goes here right so it doesn't matter you lukis macam ni boleh macam ni pun boleh right so because uh, this one becomes the new uh, input okay this one so kita dah buat kat atas tadi kan so we know that when the network is presented uh, iteration sama dengan 1 so this is iteration 1 eh, iteration 0 sorry iteration 0 Okay, so for iteration 1, if we try to find out sign, oh sorry, I just sign it, sign 111, one, one, we would get 111 one, one. and as the input is, is sorry, is the same, so we stop at this iteration alright okay can everybody do the calculation now boleh yes yes sir any any question <laughs> 